Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Hey everybody, Cooker here. Time to take a deeper dive into biotech. So much happening. <laughs> and we'll focus on COVID, vaccine stocks, testing stocks, um, and maybe if I have time, I'll get to a sixth stock. But I plan to talk about five stocks. Here you're looking at Hologic. Uh, exciting company. I just did, uh, owned it for a couple of months here and just amazing things happening with this company. Um, they were a leader in women's health diagnostics. They got into COVID testing and the story of how they did it is, is just breathtaking. They, you know, once the <clears throat> SARS-CoV-2 was sequenced genomically, you know, that passed around the internet like wildfire to scientists and the scientists at Hologic using their Panther platform, they were able to do the analytics and come up with a prototype testing kit within two weeks. So like in fe mid February, by mid March, they submitted their, um, their test kit to the FDA, uh, and it was approved. And then they, they were like 30% of test kits sold in Q2 last year were from Hologic, a company that most people have never heard of. Uh, Quidel is one of the big ones. And so let me just show you this, uh, this Panther testing platform. Here's a picture of it. This is, you know, when you think of Illumina making the million dollar genomic sequencing machines, this is a little bit like that. What's interesting and so cool about Hologic is that they've been at this for quite a while. Um, so, and I didn't know, you know, are they doing sequencing too? Um, what, are, what are their capabilities of this Panther platform? And so, and I couldn't really tell on their website. I couldn't find much. So I just did a Google search. I, I, I searched for Hologic sequencing. And it took me to this page that I probably would have never found otherwise uh, about their response to COVID. Little video here. And then they, they tell the story on this page. From sequence to solution, their unprecedented response. And it really is a cool story. So then I wanted to learn more about the the Panther platform and I was hunting around and I find this video on YouTube um, from 2014. This is Holo Hologic's proprietary real-time TMA. TMA is uh, stands for transcription mediated amplification. Just a, you know, big scientific term for, um, you know, how RNA encodes DNA and uh, what scientists can do pulling things apart. Uh, I just want to show you a clip of this video because the graphics are awesome. They're like A plus uh, university teaching graphics. And again, this is from 2014. Infectious pathogens can Boom. be identified by unique genetic Virus sequences. enters the cell. Hologic's proprietary real-time transcription mediated amplification, real-time TMA technology, can detect and quantify these genetic sequences to determine the presence of pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites. Real-time TMA... Cool video. You got to check it out. Um, and... Uh, you can find, just go to Zax.com, type in the symbol H-O-L-X. You'll find uh, articles and uh, videos I've done on it also. All right, so let's uh, let's take a quick look at the Hologic chart. So this is a 15-minute chart. Let me back out here and see what's been going on. Uh, we'll go to a weekly chart for the Hulks. Um, quite a move here, right? Um, you know, we were buyers at 70 um, I like it to a hundred. So, all right, let's, uh, let's move on to a vaccine stocks. Let's talk about Novavax. We took gains on Novavax this week or actually last week, a little too early. <laughs> so, um, we were buyers, uh, down below 120, uh, sold it up here two twenty ish, uh, and just, you know, moving big here. And my rationale for selling Novavax was that, Hey, I, I got most of what I came for. Um, and Good data out of the UK and may get approved in the UK, but that doesn't mean they're going to get approved here. Uh, so they have the potential for ramping up sales of their uh, vaccine candidate, which is not a messenger RNA uh, platform in Europe. They'll, they should do some sales, but the data was kind of sketchy from, or um, it, w it wasn't as strong handling the South African variant of the virus. So 
that's why I sold Novavax. And so let's take a look at Moderna. We also took some profits in Moderna, which sort of popped in sympathy with um, with Novavax last week. And, you know, I, I love the messenger RNA platform and the potential, especially since um, now that the platform is proven and they've got so much cash flow, they can really start building their pipeline in cancer vaccines. So that's why I still love Moderna. Uh, we took some profits. I was hoping we could get back in near 140. Yesterday, you got a dip down here to like uh, 145-ish, uh, but they bought it hard and they're buying it today. Stock's up 4%, um, heading back. You know, I mean, if it closed here, it'd be its second highest close, well, third highest close ever. Um, you know, this is the big move up here. We, we sold near above 170. So I, I still own some Moderna. Would love to get back in it. All right, let's talk about um, another vaccine stock that's in the news today. Pretty exciting. Um, controversial data. Data was released today. Uh, what might be more controversial is the fact that uh, this stock blew up yesterday and smoked the shorts. Um, you know, they did, they did a, a short bear raid here. And in three days, the stock went from uh, nine bucks to 24 bucks, 25 bucks, and then gaps down this morning on the data release. Okay. I bought it this morning, um, below $11 because, okay. Vaxart, what do they do? It is an oral vaccine candidate. They released phase one data, some, and not all the, you know, the jury's not in yet, uh, from the scientific and medical communities on how good this data is. But I'm looking at it like they're going to get funding. They could get funding from CEPI, uh, which is a, a coalition for, um, uh, what is it, uh, epidemic preparedness initiatives. Um, and that's a European body. Uh, and then COVAX, if they get some funding, you know, they could be out of something. Because here's the thing, if an oral vaccine at some point works, and we may not know that for another six months, um, it will not have the same cold chain restrictions as traditional vaccines. Uh, you know, it may not, maybe it needs to be refrigerated. That's about it. Um, so that's the potential of an oral vaccine. So there's a lot to think about there, a lot to look at. Um, you know, even here, the valuation is a little bit rich for, for something so early stage. Uh, so there, there is, there is still risk here. You know, this thing could could drop 50 percent but uh but I, I took the shot today in Vaxart. um let's see if i have a can show you a look um so yeah you should you should find the press release read the press release you'll get familiar with their platform with a potential oral vaccine and then we've got to listen to the analysts um and you know scientists and doctors out there who, you know, will like it or not, or be skeptical. And, and, you know, so that's the kind of the homework you got to do there. We want to look at another mover here. Seva. Because Seva could have an Alzheimer's candidate. And how do you think the market loves that, right? This was yesterday, Tuesday, Seva soars uh, you know, 150%, uh, you know, probably 200%. And, uh, and then is up another 38% today up to 80 bucks. Um, just cool stuff that, uh, you know, I mean, here's the thing. If you don't, if you haven't looked at companies trying to do Alzheimer's, the big guys have quit. Biogen gave up. Pfizer gave up on doing anything with Alzheimer's. Um, just the, the, the science is so hard. It, it can't prove if it's the, you know, the, the, the proteins that, uh, that build up and, and cause cognitive neuro problems, but the little companies are still trying. And, uh, and so I own one that's trading in sympathy with Caseva sciences. Cause I didn't know about Caseva and that's Anavex, A V X L. And so so here's uh, Anavex popping today, 
in sympathy following Kaseva because they also have uh, some neurological candidates, one which it, in the pipeline, which is directed towards Alzheimer's. Um, and the reason I took this shot was because of an analyst from uh, H.C. Wainwright, who last two years ago, he picked Axome Therapeutics, A-X-S-M, I believe is the symbol. He picked, he was, he was doing his uh, due diligence on that stock below five bucks. I bought it at 250, sold it at 750, and then it went to 100. So, so I have some faith in this analyst that when he's looking at these um, uh, CNS stocks, cognitive, um, cognitive neuro, uh, or central nervous system stocks, uh, could also be cognitive neuro, uh, that, um, that he knows what he's doing. And so that's why I took the shot with Anavex. Um, you know, we've got more than a double in it here. I'm just going to let it run and see what happens and see if it's the next uh, Kaseva. Uh, when they release data next. All right, who else do we need to talk about? You know, there's so much to learn studying these vaccine stocks and the and the testing stocks. Oh, I've got one more. Um, let's look at uh, Vivo. This is another testing stock I own. I own several vaccine stocks. I own several testing stocks because uh, they're all seeing a ramp in revenues uh, and potentially earnings. So, you know, they're all kind of winning right now. And the momentum is there. Investors are discovering them. Uh, Meridian Bioscience, Vivo, was a, um, I mean, it was a small cap. Um, and it's, uh, it probably still is. Uh, it's definitely under a, uh, it's near a billion dollar valuation. You know, as large investors discover some of these stories, and Meridian's been around for a while. They were, uh, they've been around since 1977. The guy started the company in his basement for 500 bucks. And by 82, he had, uh, one of the first um, strep throat tests. So this is a company that that could uh, grow and expand. And that's, and that's what I like about any of the vaccine or COVID testing companies that are seeing massive cash inflow um, that will help them build out their pipelines. The only, I don't want to say the only risk, but one of the risks is that, uh, you know, you'll hear some analysts say that any of these stocks uh, could, you know, they could be flashes in the pan, right? They have great 2020 and 2021 earnings, but things will fade as we get control of the pandemic. They're not going to be selling as many testing kits. They're not going to be selling as many vaccines. Um, yeah, maybe that's true, but I think you still have room to run in these in, uh, in 2021. And, um, I expect great things from the science from these companies. If you just look at what, <laughs> You know, what happened at warp speed with the vaccines and the testing companies, you know, you saw you saw 10 years of innovation in in two months in some cases. So um, just amazing science, lots of stuff to learn, plenty of opportunities to invest, you know, dozens of stocks out there that you can find a way to make money long term and short term. All right. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. We'll talk to you next week.